for millennia. Mankind has wondered, what is the best video game ever made? I, Thomas Mackey, have decided to find out. This is the crusade for the best video game ever made. Last week, I was optimistic that F-Zero would be a decent racing game. This week, I regret going near it. Yep, this week I'm reviewing the game that launched alongside Super Mario World on the Super Famicom on November 21st, 1990. F-Zero. You know, I gotta admit that the box art was a bit of a warning sign that this game might not be that good. I mean, I don't remember Captain Falcon looking that stupid. Oof! Well, I hoped as his character design got better, so did his games. Anyway, enough with the chit chat. Let's get this review going. Um. They definitely tried. This game was supposed to show off the Super Nintendo's MOTE which allowed pseudo 3D. So at the time, getting graphics like these would have taken plenty of effort. Unfortunately, it didn't occur to them that a large portion of the graphics on screen looks like a bunch of static. As far as I'm concerned, static hurts your eyes. And when a game looks so bad that it hurts your eyes, you know it's utter shit! This is the only thing the developers got right. F-Zero has some very nice music tracks for some very bad race tracks. They really know how to make music that works for when you're going fast, or when things are getting intense. I'd say the sound effects are good too. The cars sound like what I'd expect futuristic race cars to sound like. Um, uh, uh, you drive a futuristic car around the track? There's not much I can say here. This is a gameplay based game with no story. At least none that I'm aware of. This is where I feel they messed up the hardest. I feel like they could have made a really neat racing game where you go at breakneck speeds, but they instead said, Nah, let's just screw this whole thing up! Here are the three areas I feel they messed up with the gameplay. The first being controls. This game requires precision turning and maneuvering. Unfortunately, when I try to turn, I feel like I can't move slightly to the left or right. Instead, I'm just hurled violently to the direction I picked. This isn't helped by the fact the game uses a D-pad as opposed to analog sticks. Perhaps racing games don't work with D-pads. My second issue is how you just bounce all around the racetrack if you hit into your opponent slightly, or your opponent hits into you. This bumping, paired with imprecise controls, amounts to a bumper car-like experience, which makes me think the developers should have just made a game about bumper cars in the first place. It would probably be a lot more fun than this. My third and final issue is how there is a level with wind in which your car gets pushed by said wind. You can't just do something like that when the controls are terrible. This might be okay in a racing game with good controls, but F-Zero sure isn't one of them. 
Not only that, I don't see any visual cue for when a gust of wind is happening. Now that's the cherry on top of the shit pile. I think it's quite obvious by now that I think this game is a poor <laughs> The only thing I liked was the music, which makes me think, why didn't they just make an album and spares from this hard game? Whatever the reason, this game gets a 2 out of 5. On the top games list, it goes straight to the bottom as number 2. Next episode, I will be reviewing Street Fighter 2. Will it not be a piece of crap like F-Zero? Tune in next episode on the Crusade for the Best Video Game Ever Made!